Well, to make up for more than a million dollar shortfall, city of Janesville residents may have to pay a fee to have their garbage picked up. Rock County reporter Margo Spann has more on Janesville's trash troubles. Well, people that are on uh, fixed income, they ain't going to be able to afford this. The city of Janesville's landfill is in a heap of financial trouble, but some say residents shouldn't have to pick up the tab. Everything's going up so high anyway, and everything, so it don't, uh, it don't make sense, really. But charging residents a quarterly fee for trash pickup does make sense to city leaders. They estimate that at the current rate, they may run out of room by 2035. Councilman Tom McDonald says, like water and sewage, trash pickup is currently paid for out of a separate fund. Since the late 1990s, the city of Janesville has paid for the sanitation fund by bringing in trash from outside the community, having contracts with outside haulers, and that's what we've used as income, as revenue, for the sanitation fund. The fee would be about $40 a year. McDonald says several neighboring communities already charge either a flat fee or a pay-as-you-throw program where people are rewarded for generating less waste. Some residents say they have the answer to the city's trash troubles. I do think more recycling because I myself am guilty of not recycling everything that I could possibly recycle, so I do think that might be a possible solution before going to extreme measures of charging a high price. They could save money if they zigzag across the street and up garbage. They used to do that, but now they don't. Another suggestion was to pick up trash every other week, but McDonald said most of the council members were not in favor of that suggestion because of the recent high temperatures that we've had. Yeah, so when, Margo, will residents know if they're going to have to pay this extra fee? Well, the council is expected to meet next month. After that meeting, they'll have a public hearing to get comments from the public. And then after that, whatever they decide will actually take effect top of the year. We'll continue to follow it. Margo Spanner, Rock County Bureau at the Janesville Gazette. Margo, thank you.